Welcome Trailblazers to today's tutorial where I will be showing you the difference between a lead and a contact. A lead is a person or company that might be interested in what your business offers, be it a product or a service. A contact is a lead that has been qualified as a potential customer or consumer. Using the standard business process of Salesforce, a lead eventually turns into a contact, but that doesn't mean that every contact was a lead at some point. Leads can be converted into contacts, accounts, or opportunities. So let's see what that tool looks like. Starting from the lead page in your own organization, we can click the new button at the top right to create a new lead. Every field here can be customized so your own org might look a little bit different. But let's fill out some of the required fields and some other important information like phone, email, and industry. It is important to note that leads can be acquired from many different sources such as online ads, a company's website if they have an online form, social media, webinars, phone calls, emails, referrals, and more. Here, we can write some basic but important information about this lead. Things such as name, last name, company they work for, or represent, phone number, mobile, in case you can't reach them at their phone number, fax, email, also very important for communication, title, in case this, this person has a high up in title within the company, such as CEO or COO. This one's an open text field, so it can be edited with anything, but it can be made into a pick list should you need to. Website, in case the company has a website, and lead status, which is pretty important. This is more or less what the status of the lead is, as the name applies, of course. And it starts with open, not contacted, working, closed, converted, or closed, not converted. This is in case you've already built some repertoire with this client or with this contact. And maybe you started in a, not at the very beginning, but about halfway through, maybe started working. Right below it is rating, also really important. So this rating ranges from hot, warm, cold, or not known. And that's in case maybe you have had those conversations with this person and you feel them around and maybe had some back and forth and you feel like, hey, this, this lead this is very hot. You know, it's, it's going to be converted for sure. Sometimes rating can correlate with lead status. You're not going to have a lead status that's never been contacted. It's still hot. Or maybe you could. Situations are different. Continuing on, we have things such as industry. It's a long list, and believe us, this only covers maybe half or maybe a third. This could always be added a lot more later. Region, also very important. The region with a contact or with this lead is going to be established in. Number of employees for the company, of course. The uh, currency, in case they deal in anything outside of US dollars. This is not a standard field, but it can be turned on. Address. And then a little bit further down, we have some maybe not standard uh, bits of information. Product interests. This can be changed, of course. Current generators. SIC code. Primary. Now this one's a little bit tricky because sometimes you might have multiple leads for the same company. So here's where you de designate if that lead is the primary source of contact or maybe a secondary. Let's just select yes for now. That's it. Once created, in the lead record page, we can see all the information we just input. This is important because it will be used later once the lead is converted into a full-fledged customer. From here, sales reps can follow the sales process set up by the org to try and convert this lead. There's important bits of information on this page. On the left, we can see the details tab next to the activity, chatter, and news. For right now, let's just focus on the details because this is the information that's going to carry over once the lead is converted into a contact. We can see here things such as name, company, title, lead source, industry, annual revenue, but that's going to be more so for the account. Phone number, mobile, fax, email, and website all are going to be carried over to the contact and used later on by the sales reps. Continuing on, once the lead has been converted and determined to be qualified as a new customer, users can click on the button in the top right that says convert to try turn turn this lead into a full-fledged contact, account, and opportunity. So let's check that out. 
On the convert page, we're given the option to either create a new account, contact, and opportunity, or add this lead to an already existing account, contact, or opportunity. You can switch between the two on here with a simple click of a button. But for this demonstration, we're going to create a new account, contact, and opportunity. We can click the convert button once more, this time at the bottom right, to see what that looks like. Success! Our lead has now been converted and we're presented with a new screen showing us the account, contact, and opportunity that was just created. Right now, we're only interested in the contact, so let's click that and see what it looks like. In the details section, we can see much of the information that was already in the leads page, plus some new fields that have been added for more personal and business information. Fields such as name, phone, and email have carried over from the lead page, while new ones such as birthday, home phone, assistant information, pre-qualified, are all going to be new fields that are added once this lead has been converted into a contact. Since this person is now fully incorporated in the system, we can see what account this contact belongs to, either in the top left, next to title, or inside the details section, under name. By clicking on the related tab, we can also see what other records this account is now related to as well. This includes opportunities, cases, and campaign, among others. Well, that's it. To summarize, well, for most companies, the majority of leads do not turn into sales. Majority of contacts, however, because they are qualified, do turn into sales. The important thing to note here is, a lead is an unqualified person or company who, by working on said lead, could eventually turn into an account, a contact, or an opportunity. Sometimes even all three. A contact is a person who has been qualified and either comes from a lead that has been worked on or an account already established in your system. Thank you guys for watching, and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.